A new poll indicates that the majority of Americans are actually in favor of arming teachers as a way to mitigate the slaughter of children on campuses across the country. Now this was a survey that was done um, by, I believe it was, yes, Economist and YouGov. And here's what they found. Among all respondents, 51% say they either strongly favor at 31% or favor somewhat at 20%. While just 37% say they oppose somewhat uh, or oppose strongly giving school teachers uh, and school administrators the option of being armed at school. So easy way to understand this, a slim majority, 51% of Americans, agree that it might make sense to arm teachers. The same teachers who, by the way, have been defamed as groomers by the right wing, who have been completely like tortured with all sorts of nonsense because they wanted to go back to school in a safe way during the pandemic. The teachers who are underpaid, undervalued, now are expected to protect your children with a gun in case a mass shooter enters the classroom. Now understand what they're asking teachers to do. They're asking teachers to shoot and kill someone who poses a threat to their students. And for a lot of Americans, that might sound like it's all hunky dory, it's totally fine. Everyone thinks they're Rambo. But killing someone, shooting someone is a pretty traumatic thing to go through. And we're asking our underpaid, undervalued teachers to do just that. And when you break it down by political identity, Unsurprisingly, 73% of Republicans are in favor of arming teachers. 54% of independents are in favor of arming teachers. And for Democrats, the number is much lower at 31%. Okay, so look, this is disastrous news on a couple of fronts. But I think the most important part of the story is why we're getting these numbers. So I'll get to that in a second. But first, um, let me just deliver on what I think Democrats should be doing as I'm explain, as I'm going to explain in the next uh, part of this. Which will fall on deaf ears. Okay, so uh, number one, apparently I have to explain why this is a terrible idea. Okay, mo most of the shooters are either current or former students. So one of the first things that you have to teach the uh, teachers is which of your students should you shoot? Um, now, remember, you have to get training, although now Ohio, they pass a law where it's unclear, they have to have any training at all. Mm -hmm. Where are you gonna put the gun? How are you gonna get the gun when you think a student is creating a potential shooting scenario? But are you sure? How sure are you that the student is dangerous? How sure do you have to be before you shoot and kill your own student? So this is already insanity. Second of all, we're really gonna ask our teachers. Now I need you to be an expert in chemistry. And remember, you're gonna have to know the whole periodic elements and plus how to murder people that come in or kill people that come into your school because we live in an insane country where we think this is normal. No other country thinks this. I'm gonna reiterate that a thousand times throughout the shows so that you get it because mainstream media doesn't do it. No other country does this. We here in America have lost our goddamn minds. And I'll tell you why in a second. Can I just By the jump way. in real quick before, don't lose that thought. Also, let's not forget when police respond to the mass shooter and they enter a classroom and see one person, a, a former student with a gun, and then they see the educator with a gun, are they definitely gonna know who the bad guy is? Yeah. Right, because the teacher is also risking his or her life in having that gun in his or her hands as authorities respond to the mass shooting. So that's also a huge risk that we're asking teachers to take on if this is what we're gonna do in lieu of common sense gun regulations. Which honestly, in a country that endlessly disappoints me, is likely gonna happen. So uh, we asked Marines to do hundreds of hours of training, by the way, every year uh, in, in uh, guns and weapons and weapon safety. But teachers were gonna say, nah, maybe 24 hours in Ohio, maybe none yeah. in training. And off you go, and by the way, uh, I hope your aim is good because you could also shoot and kill other innocent students. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you're a responsible person that locks away the gun at the right place and doesn't leave it out. Because otherwise, you're gonna make it easier for the school shooters. They can just pick up the teacher's gun and start killing everybody in the class the minute they're angry. Okay, now, 95% of teachers are opposed to this, but it doesn't matter. 95% of politicians 
who take money or 100% of politicians who take money from the gun lobby don't give a damn what teachers want or what's gonna keep your kids safe. They think, where's the money, Lebowski, okay? And um, finally, let me ask you this thought before we get to the why this is happening. So we're gonna arm teachers because of school shootings. Well, we just had a shooting at a hospital in Tulsa yesterday, five dead. Should we arm the doctors too? To arm everybody, arm everybody, because arm the that's nurses. the solution, right? According to the gun lobby, which of course is working on behalf of gun manufacturers, the solution to gun violence is more guns, because more guns, of course, translates to more profits for the gun manufacturers, of course. More death for us, more fear for us, but hey, more fear is a good thing, Jank. More fear is a good thing. That means more gun sales. You guys see how this works? Literally. You see how it's not about actually saving lives, how this is about exploiting one tragedy after another after another to sell more guns. That's what this is about. It's not about a common sense solution to stop the carnage. It's not about that. Yeah, and so it, there's an estimate that if you have to arm every teacher in America, it'll uh, get gun manufacturers an extra three and a half billion dollars at least. Okay, that is a lot of reasons for them to push their bitches, the Republican politicians, into pushing this agenda so they can make money and share small proceeds with people like Ted Cruz and pat him on his head. Good and boy, that, good yeah, boy, that, Ted Cruz. And that Ted Cruz will do whatever they want and the Republicans will push this out. By the way, then if you arm the doctors, that's another three and a half billion. The nurses, another three and a half billion, all go into the pockets of gun manufacturers because we live under corporate rule, which finally gets me to why in the world does a majority of Americans agree with this? Because Republicans repeat it endlessly, I've now seen it Dozens of times on television, the Republican comes out and says, "We've got to arm the teachers. We've got to arm the teachers. Teachers need to show. They all need to be rambo." And the Democrats say, "What? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing." So all that, unless you watch TYT or another progressive show, all that you heard as an American is arming teachers is an awesome idea and almost the only idea. And Democrats never countered it. Never said any of the points that we just made. Okay, I, I challenge you, find a single Democrat saying, hey, why aren't we arming doctors then if there's mass shootings at hospitals? You won't find it because they're losers and they don't understand that you the words are supposed to come out of your mouth. You are supposed to make a counterpoint to the Republicans. But instead they're like, ah. Chris Murphy, the legendary big gun control advocate, he owns the issue in the center for the Democrats. You know what he did yesterday? He begged Republicans to join him uh, in a bill. Oh, Did you beg hard enough, Chris? Is that what you do? You want me to call you Senator Murphy? Why, what have you ever gotten done? Nothing, zero. On your signature issue, zero, zero, other than begging Republicans. That's why the majority of the country is like, I don't know, I guess it's the only idea. Uh, I guess let's arm the teachers. It is a complete and utter disaster. And I do want to give you a few more details about what Jenk keeps alluding to in his argument regarding what Ohio is currently doing. Because as I mentioned earlier, this is likely to happen because we don't have a, listen, the Democratic Party is what the Republican Party was during the Bush years at this point. And the Republican Party is the extreme right, okay, made up of all sorts of right wing gang members, right wing militias, right wing extremists. It is insane how little representation normal people in this country have. With that said though, here's what's happening, just to give you an example of the extremism. Here's what's happening in Ohio. Let's go to graphic six. Republican state lawmakers have sent a bill to Ohio Governor Mike DeWine that empowers local boards of education to allow teachers to carry a gun in the classroom. Under current law, a teacher would need consent of a board plus more than 700 hours of training to bear arms in schools. So at least the current law indicates that there are certain standards that an educator would need to meet before bringing a gun, a lethal weapon into a classroom. But here's what the new legislation does. Under House Bill 99, that teacher would need consent of the board and to meet certain training requirements which are capped capped by the state at 24 hours unless the local board demands more. The legislation doesn't clearly even establish any minimum number of training hours and ample dispute and confusion exists as to what minimum standards the bill calls for. By the way, as I mentioned, the bill has already made its way to the state governor because it passed in the state senate as well. 
So Ohio is just one state, but I guarantee you the domino effect will happen. Other red states will do the same thing. Then we'll hear about the disastrous tragic stories of how more innocent people died as a result of the teacher having a firearm in his or her classroom. I guarantee it, I promise you. But that is exactly how this was supposed to play out. I need you guys to be, look, we have a smart audience, so most of you know this already. But you gotta read in between the lines. Oftentimes, when politicians tell you they're doing something for whatever reason, it's really not due to that reason. Look into who the policy actually benefits financially. And it's always some corporate person breathing down our necks and, and you know, forcing us to follow through with policy that actually causes more harm than good. Yeah, last thoughts here, just to watch what Anna is saying. It's just corporate rule, guys. That's so it. anything that maximizes profit for a corporation is going to pass. Anything that challenges the profit of a corporation will never, ever, ever pass because bribery is legal in America. Mainstream media are all liars. They never talk about the bribery. That's why it happens. Everything else is squirrels. Arming the teachers is also squirrels. It's dangerous squirrels because it'll lead to more deaths. But anything that isn't gun control is squirrels. And finally, by the way, when the teachers start making mistakes and the kids grab their guns and what Anna said turns out to be true, you know what they're gonna propose next? Well, why don't we just arm the students? Mmm, delicious profits for those gut manufacturers. Oh, Can't they're wait. gonna love Can't the wait. seven year olds with Uzis. They're gonna love it. And yes, Republican politicians will say it with a straight face because they're paid to. And Democrats will surrender because they're paid to. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.